Hello to you newcomers and welcome back subscribers. This is Big Baby Props and I'm the Big Baby. Continuing our remodel of the Z6 Rotary Blaster Cannon. In this episode we're going to, let's see, we've got a little bit left to do on the barrels. I'd like to do the sight, maybe the magazine as well. Maybe depending on how much time we have, take care of these handles here. So the first thing I wanted to do was make an update to one of our previous pieces. It was bugging me a little bit. I'll show you guys what I mean. So if we go to the section analysis we can see right down the middle of it this lid here that we made this yeah lid and cage internal part it's going to slide into the main body here and there's nothing going to be really holding it in place other than friction and maybe some glue so what I wanted to do was bring this face out just a little bit more so that we have uh, more of a fit so that there's I, I don't know I'm not an engineer I don't know the technical term but so that there's more uh, area keeping it in place so what we're going to do is use our extrude function select this face and bring it out a little bit more just so that it fills in more of this empty area and it should provide a better fit. So we'll join it to that part. And now we can see that it's a little bit bigger. That'll also provide more area for that uh, internal spinning rod to rest on. Okay, one more thing I wanted to do this episode was uh, there's another part of the barrels that I haven't done yet. It's this little ring towards the end there. So we'll just sketch that up real quick. It shouldn't be too hard to make. Add a new sketch on the plane. We'll just draw a nice center line. And then... We want it to intersect a little bit with all the barrels. So we'll go all the way up there and down like that. Now let's create and revolve it. And now it wants to cut from all the barrels, but that's not what we want. So I'm going to hide the barrels and create a new body. Now we'll select the body, show the barrels, and we will combine it with the barrels. We'll make it our target body and we'll use our tool bodies to cut away from it. and we want to keep tools otherwise it will get rid of our barrels and that's not good so now if we hide the barrels we can see that it is let me hide these sketches we can see it's got room for the barrels cut out so that's great let's show the barrels again there we go this will have to spin with the rest of the barrels and the whole mechanism but that shouldn't be a problem you just have to glue it to the barrels once you've got them in and that shouldn't be too hard okay now let's take a look at this sight rail so it will probably have to cut through our cage rings here as well as maybe this cage external a little bit and that's okay because if it does cut through that means that we can get it so that it has to fit together and that should make it a lot stronger than if we just had to glue it so for this we're going to need another sketch 
So let's. We won't need a center line this time, but we will need a bottom line for it. Maybe have it be just slightly lower than the top of the rod. Let's just go right here and then go all the way out. And now we'll just kind of sketch it out a little bit. Trying to take into account the weird angle that we've got here. And now we go all the way down. And then back up. And then back down. And then it looks like we go back up. Yes, just a little bit. And then back down again. Let's have it be flush with this line and perpendicular to that line. So now we can complete the profile. All right. Now let's show our bodies again. Now let's see what happens when we go to extrude this. It's probably going to want to cut away from everything. So you can see since it intersects with our like cage rings and our uh, cage external, let's just hit OK. It wants to cut away from it all. I don't think I want it to intersect with this body. We can have it intersect with the cage, like this dotted cage, that's fine, but I don't think I want it to interfere with that. So let's just drag this line up and that will fix that for us. So let's try and extrude again. And you can see the parts are being cut away to prepare for it. Now I don't know how wide this thing should be. Not that wide for sure. Maybe one inch. That looks pretty good actually. Let's look at our references from a few different angles. So it looks to be about the same width of, as a barrel. So maybe we want to go smaller than an inch. Because our barrels are 0.75 inches. Yeah, I could work with that. So again, in order to maintain our, um, what's the word, like margin of error for fitting these together, I'm going to add 0.75 five being cut away or maybe 0.76 just to add room for some imperfections in the printer printed piece and as well as uh, it lets us have room for glue so I'm going to cut away 0.76 and there you go we can see that's not right I don't think I want it to intersect this center piece either. So maybe we need to raise it up some more. Let's go. How does that look? It still intersects the cage piece. Still intersects our circles, but it won't interfere with this because this piece will have to spin with the barrels. So I think that's a better height. Now let's repeat our extrude. Go 0.76 inches. And we want it to go both sides, so we'll hit symmetric. And hit OK. There, that looks better. Now the pieces shouldn't interfere with the spinning mechanism at all. And it will have a place to be cut out. You know what, actually? Let's modify that sketch, because I don't like how it looks here, having this cut out line. 
So maybe what I'll do is let's hide the bodies quick. Bring that in maybe and we'll add a lo straight line down instead of just continuing that angle all the way through like that. And we'll stop sketch and show bodies. So now that cutting point will be a straight edge which should fit a lot better than just uh, like an angle. So let's repeat our extrude but this time we will make it a new body. So we want to go point I'm going to go point 0.75 since this is the actual part that will fit into it and then we'll go symmetric and we want it to be a new new body. Okay. And there we go. Let's rename this to site rail. And this let's go uh, I don't even know what to call it. Barrel connector. Sure. Now there are a few details on this site that we need to add. You can see like it's ribbed, not ribbed, uh, just cut away a little bit on the inside and then it's got hollow and there. So let's try and recreate that. We could just add a sketch on top of here and cut it away, but I feel like there's an easier way to do this. Maybe we could shell all these faces. The hair. That's what I'm talking about. And that will be uniform. But that's not exactly what we want. Let's do it for this piece here at least. So, repeat shell. Do it for these guys. And we yeah. there that. Okay, maybe not for the back piece. I just don't like how that angle goes all the way down but we'll make it work. Okay, here's what we can do. We can add a sketch on here and just sketch out everything that we just made. Let's hide the coils. And this will project onto the object since we're selecting points on the object. Or it should uh, make a line there, make a line there, so we can just recreate all these bodies on there. And let's make our cutting line. Let's go maybe right there. And just bring it all the way through there. 
And to get the same look, let's go to Sketch Mirror and select our line here and then our I don't have a mirror line. Let's add a mirror line then. Just right down there. Okay. Now we should be able to show me the sketch. We can extrude this onto the site rail with the two sides function. Now we can make it cut away just a little bit of it that looks pretty good and so now we can do the same thing for the others so extrude this two sides and bring this up it's just so it's cutting out the top little portion Hmm, this is going to look funny. But what we can do is add a sketch on this corner piece and line it up with the rest. too far. There. Now we can close this off. And extrude it. There. Now that part is cut as well. Oops. We should go a little bit lower. There, that looks better. Now we can go to this piece. This looks like it's just cut out a little bit taller than the rest of it. So for that, let's go to extrude. We want to extrude all these bring it up two sides and then just chop it out a little bit taller than the rest all right that looks good and what about that last piece it looks like it's just cut out there also seems to be a inconsistency in the images I'm just now seeing so this needs to be flat this shouldn't be too hard to fix I'll just edit this sketch and draw a line right there and then trim those away and that should have modified the body as well. Cool. So now where are we? Right, we need to extrude, or we need to cut away from it. So this is going to be a little bit difficult, but we can add sketches to it like before. That line up with the others. It will mirror this line. Well, crap. Now we can mirror this line across. OK. 
Okay, add our lines on it. And then cut away. All right, I'll do the same for this guy. Actually, this guy already has his lines. That's not right. Let's edit this sketch. Which one are you? There. Now we can get to it. Two sides. To cut. Looks like some of these lines were a little bit off when I drew them. these guys let's bring them out there that looks better and now we can add it to wait that's not the right plane let's add it to this plane the line going down let's snap it to 90 degrees get the last piece this big block here hmm I don't like how that looks See how the shell looks on this one. Not great. Is there another modify? Okay, I'm just gonna move on. I might come back to it, but we're spending a lot of time on it right now. So let's reshow all our bodies to see where we're at. Let's see if we can get the magazine finished. <laughs> So looks like last time I just stuck it to the side of the sight rail as well as the cage. Interesting. Okay. We can do something like that. So we want to make sure that it's on the correct side. So it looks like it'll be on the left. Let's go over here. And it looks like it's just kind of a s rectangle and then a smaller rectangle. So I think what I did was I added some, just some minor details just to make it a little more interesting. So I might do that again. 
So let's create a sketch. Right there. Let's make the bigger box first. We could just make a rectangle here, two point rectangle. We'll go up here. Right there. And now we can sketch offset and we can bring this in so that it's the same distance all around from all the edges and make our second box. And now we can extrude these. We'll want it to be two sides so that we can control the distance. We don't want it cutting away from everything. I think it'll just have to be something similar where what's this piece of insert where we extrude it to how we want it to be and then we have to combine it with the other with the other objects in a way that looks good. So this big one only goes out just a little bit. Smaller than that even. Three inches. Holy smoke sense of Oh. Never mind. Okay, let me just cancel this. And we can, let's just remove this body for now. Let's see how it holds up with the others. drag it out, but now we can hide them so that it shouldn't interfere with it. So let's bring the big one maybe out. That's an inch, because you look, side two is 0.8 inches and side one is negative 1.8, so that means that our total length is one inch. It might be too far, let's bring it down to half an inch. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll extrude the smaller one. We want it to join, and let's make it two sides. Okay, now what looks good? Let's show some other stuff so we have context. It doesn't look like it comes out that far in some of the canvases. Maybe a little... That one's probably the most extreme. Let's hide the canvases back. Maybe five inches. That looks good to me. But now we don't want it to join with all these other bodies. So let's hide them from it. So if the only one it's joining to is the base here. 
body 108. Okay. Now, what we might do is use this profile to cut away from the ammo box. So that it should fit properly. Yes, we want it to cut. Hit OK. Now that will make new bodies since it cut it in half, or I mean cut it in two. So we can just remove those. But I accidentally. You know what, there should be a sketch somewhere with that full radius, like full circle. That's not it. That's not it either. might just as well make a new sketch that's just a circle that goes all the way out to the outer diameter of our cage great and now we can hide the cage just extrude it so we can cut away the ammo box. Okay. And now we can show everything and it should be fitting together properly. Like they shouldn't be intersecting at all. Now we might want to add some details to the ammo box. So and the other one, it looks like we chamfered off the corners a little bit. I kind of like how that looked. So let's do it again. Modify, chamfer, select all of our edges here. Oops, not that one. One more on the bottom. Uh, let's make it equal distances, just for expediency's sake. That looks good. And we also had like some just little cutouts from it. I think I want to do that again. So let's add a sketch onto the top of this thing here. Let's make a two point rectangle. And let's see, this is the center line. So maybe we want to do a center rectangle just so that we can, oops, that was too far. Let's just bring this down. Okay, and now we can rectangular pattern it. We'll go symmetric, bring the quantity down to one I want it to go in the other direction though. There. Okay. And let's just extrude these. Gotta make them visible first. Just extrude them in a little bit so that they cut away. Now I think we chamfered, nope. I kind of want to chamfer them though. 
let's go to modify chamfer and just select the top edges on all of them okay all right I might go back to that site later but for now it looks pretty good to me so we got the site down we got this barrel connector down and we got the uh, let's rename this to magazine okay we're almost there guys what we've got left is the handle system and then the grip and I'll try and do the handle system in the next video uh, the grip might need another video as well but thank you guys for watching I hope you learned something I hope that you're uh, taking on Fusion 360 challenges at home. It's a very rewarding software and it's free for hobbyists so you almost have no excuse if you want to learn how to model. So I wish you guys luck in your own endeavors and I hope to see you again next time.